Hey everyone, this is Adventure 494. Welcome to the channel. I'm here in Microsoft Flight Simulator today in the midst of preparing of to, to, to do a cargo flight in uh, New Zealand. So before I do that, I'd like to share something with you guys. Let me just minimize this. I've been making videos for YouTube for the last 11 or 12 months ago. And every time if I record my video, I will need to go into an editing software like Premiere Pro to enhance the color. Little did I know that uh, there's actually an another way of doing this instead of enhancing this in a post-production but can actually do it in during the, the flight itself. So I'd like to share this with you. I'm using an NVIDIA RTX 3070. There is a enhancement that you can do while flying. If you have installed the NVIDIA experience that you know that you can press Alt Z on your keyboard to get this menu that pops up. And here you have several things that you can do. You can record your videos and, and do a live broadcast. But on the left hand side that you can see here you have what we call a game filter. So the keyboard shortcut is actually Alt F3. So please be careful of this because if you if you press Alt F4 instead, the whole game will be shut down, right? We don't want that. What I've done is I've actually bind it to one of my stream deck keys so it's easy for me to just click on it. So I'll just close this for a second and I'll just press on my stream deck here to bring the filter out. It's where you see the filters. So what I've done to enhance the look of my screen here is actually to bring in a filter called a color filter. I'll just do it here for you to see. We have three slots here, so I'll use one of these slots here just to do a demo for you guys. So I'm gonna click on the word Alt Filter. And here you have a lot of choices of stuff that you can do to enhance the color or give it some ni nice, beautiful cinematic look. So what I've chosen was I've chosen color down here and then you can add filters to it. If you click on this downward arrow, you can see that you have tin color that you can adjust. You can adjust the tin intensity and the temperature and vibrance. So what I've done is I've just minimized the tin intensity and tin color, even temperature, I'll leave it to zero. I enhanced the vibrance a bit to about 50. So that gives me that nice vibrancy look instead of just a pale screen that you look at, a bit colorless stuff, right? So if I were to press done, and if I press this again, you can see I can switch on and off. So it looks a bit more less saturated, but this is a bit more saturated. So I like this look because it gives me a subtle kind of a vibrancy look on it. But we can also play with some of the stuff. If I were to delete this filter that I just made, I'm going to show you a couple of things you can do. Obviously, you can turn to black and white if you wish. I'll delete that. We can even change the brightness and contrast, enhance the exposures, the contrast, the highlights, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to delete that off. You can also do something like a depth of field where you can have a bit blurry to the back and then more enhanced, more sharpness in front, give you that depth of field look. Okay, and then we also have stuff like details will give you more, the image becomes more enhanced. I can play with my sharpen if I want to, make it more sharp kind of look, a bit of clarity, give it more clarity look and all that. HDR toning, I can adjust the HDR toning and then give it a bit of bloom, nice camera bloom that's happening there. Let's try a night mode that gives you a night mode. If you're flying at night and uh, your room is dark, you can switch to a night mode. And we also have stuff like old film look if you're flying any of the old aircrafts you can make a screen look as if it's uh you're back in the 30s 40s flying the aircraft painterly gives you like a painted look so this is just to play around with you know uh, you can have fun with this even you have vignette here where you can darken the, the edges for me i just use my filter just to enhance the color and give it a bit of more vibrance it really helps me to enhance my videos so i do not need to go into the editing software and increase the color all the time if you found this useful and you want more videos in the future please click on the thumbs up icon and subscribe the channel it really helps the channel thank you for watching and i hope this has helped you in a way and happy flying bye bye